It was an extraordinary episode. Talk us through it. What were the circumstances in which one world leader accused another world leader, both of them nuclear superpowers, of being a killer? Well, basically, uh, uh, President Joe Biden was being interviewed by George Stephanopoulos. Now, the thing to know about George Stephanopoulos is that he was in the Clinton uh, administration. He's a close confidant of the Clintons. And he was, of course, he's in the media now. And we see that's a, that's, that's a dynamic that we see fairly regularly now where political operatives or former um, uh, CIA, FBI, et cetera, intelligence um, people are, are, are now part of the media. So he gave, uh, I guess, what would be considered the question that uh, all presidents have to answer. If you remember, Donald Trump was asked whether or not Vladimir uh, Putin was a killer. And he actually, he gave an honest answer. And he said, you know, basically, I'm paraphrasing, we're no angels. Everybody, every world leader does things that are, you know, a bit untoward. So it's not a, it, it's not an issue. Now, uh, Joe Biden took the opportunity to refer to um, to to uh, President uh, Putin as a as a killer. But I personally don't think that that was the real meaty part of it. I, I don't think that was the most important part of it, because he also said he had no soul. And really, to say that a person is a killer is to talk about the actions that they take. To say that a person has no soul now is re referring to a person as some kind of a savage, as a beast. If a person may be a killer, but you may be able to negotiate with a killer. But if a person has no soul, you're now implying that this person is some kind of a savage creature and that you cannot work out a deal with it.